Ik ga u Oh, this is smell. Who the f King me ha dejado los f***s mac and cheese en el frigo. Oh, qué asco. No, no puedo. I can't do this anymore. I'm out. It's hard enough to keep your box of Captain Crunch cereals fresh in your bachelor pad for one. Imagine what it's like to manage six months worth of food with another bunch of salty sailors like me on a boat. Well, that's exactly what we are going to talk about today. Preserving food is an essential task on a sailing boat and we always worry about uh, getting it spoiled. One, because of the heat and the other one, the most feared one. What do you think it is? Bugs, critters, crawling creatures from hell or whatever name you want to call them. So let me introduce you today one of the methods that we've been using with Sylvia so far and it's been working at its best. And coming with the shopping. One important thing that we have to take uh, into account is that we don't want to introduce uh, some kind of materials onto the boat. So for example, cardboard. No. It's like a really easy way to get uh, crocoches and stuff like that onto the boat. So the same thing with the labels of the cans. We want to remove all of them. Never forget to write down the name of the of the food in this case it was beetroot you don't want to play russian roulette with your food don't you for the fresh produce we don't want any insect to come with the with the fruit like papayas and bananas are the ones that we see that they have normally a lot so we have water and we pour some vinegar we make sure that all the insects are gone and always don't forget to dry it and if you want to even be more strict like cleaning the, the cans only also a proper way to keep any pest or any disease away from the food. How you store your food is as important as the previous step because that will help you to keep bugs away and also save some money. Did you know that 35% of the average household garbage is food waste? Every year we almost waste $4,000 worth of food and that's a lot. Imagine if that happens in a place like Sylvia where we are eight or nine crew and a big bag of rice goes bad. It's a lot of food spoiled and a lot of money waste. Our favorite system so far, it's been food buckets. Preferably screwed with the lids, different sizes. You have to make sure every time you buy them that they have proper lids that it keeps moist and bags away. That's the most important thing here. Also, take different sizes for different places on the boat. Apart from the buckets, we, we always use a, a vacuum sealer. And it's really, really useful because when you buy in bulk, uh, you have tons of foods at the same time and you want to make the most of it. So you buy the, these plastic bags that they are reusable because it's time you cut them here, you can use it in a in a smaller amount but you can still use them because we really want as least as uh, plastic waste as possible so this is another great idea but never forget that after putting in the plastic this is quite thin plastic and the bags can make holes around the plastic and get to the food so after you do this you always have to put the food into another plastic bucket with a with a lid another tip will be to buy in bulk even if you are two, three, four people, you don't have to be as big as we are uh, because at the end of the year, it's cheaper and your wallet will thank you. The best place we found on the boat to put the food bucket that we use daily on a, in a regular base, it's in the bath cabin. Let's have a look. The rest of the food and cans, bottles, uh, some potatoes, some pumpkin that we don't use daily, we store it downstairs uh, on the beaches. Let's go and have a look. We use the beaches because it's the darkest and the coolest place uh, on the boat and it really, you can see the difference between uh, storage in the food here or upstairs. Always make sure that you put uh, plastic buckets also, like we did in the other one, because in the beaches salt water can come in and then a spoiler your cans and your food. After we storage the food properly, uh, one of the most important things also is how we work as a team, all the crew. So we have different chores uh, for each week. And for example, the most important ones are food management 
and fridge. Why? Because those are going to be the people that are going to take care of our food. And they have to work together to see what's, uh, what, what leftovers do we have, what is going bad on the fridge, and the food management will check that everything in the bilge is in the bucket is still good, clean everything that it needs to be cleaned, and they have to work uh, combined with the cook because the cook has to know every day what food is going wrong or is going bad so they, they can cook it. And now we only talk about how to storage our food, but we have some useful tips that will help you preserve your food better. For example, with the rice and flour, what we do is put a couple of uh, bay leaves to keep the, the bugs away. And it's been working pretty good because for now we haven't had any issues with it. On the board for breakfast, uh, we usually have oats and my best recommendation will be uh, as soon as you buy it, remove it from the package and put it in your container. And also like with the rice and the flour, put a couple of bay leaves. With onion and garlic, uh, these two they hate the fridge, so they are not fridge friendly. And normally you have to keep them away from the sun. So the best way to do it is put it in a box uh, on the bilches, or sometimes people use the, the Tupperware. What we do is uh, whatever we buy in bulk, we will put them in the, on the bilches but what we use daily or during the week we will use this basket that it will keep the sun away and hang it like close to the kitchen bananas normally we used to tend like to buy like this huge uh, banana trees and everything but then we realized that it's quite hard to keep them fresh i took on the internet a couple of tricks and actually it did work pretty well with foil i will just use a piece and look try to Use it again and use it again until it's like it's gone. And put a little bit on the tip. That also will keep for way longer time. And one thing about the bananas will be never put them uh, with other fruits or tomatoes or avocados because they will ripe faster. Potatoes that you don't want to eat straight away, the bilches will be the best option. We choose this one because it's uh, the most spacious, dark, and ventilated place because the hut is here. The potatoes put off CO2 and if they don't have enough space or enough ventilation they will start to wrinkle and go softer. So this is uh, our best option. If you're tired of pasta and you love potatoes maybe you don't know that if you boil the potato and you let it cool off during the night they will develop a prebiotics that it's the nutrients that feed our flora in our intestines so it will be like fuel for uh, our body and if you boil too much and you have a lot of uh, potato cubes that you don't want to go to waste uh, you have to put in a, a jar or a tupperware with water and a little bit of vinegar and it will help them last longer on the fridge so the apples uh, we haven't talked about the apples yet uh, when we bought a bunch in honiara in the solomons uh, i check what trick could it make them last longer I found that the dry skin of the onions kept them longer and they keep quite fresh. <laughs> they fix this, so you know that I bite the apple just for the shot, you know, like we always do. So, the little trick is like if you drop a little bit of lemon, lemon juice there, it will slow down the process and it will be super fresh whenever you want to get the apple bag or maybe you can if you want a mexican style you put some chilies with the lemon and it's equally delicious so the carrots like the apples they would do better in the boxes and instead of the bilches so i will put them separate in another plastic container i will recommend to never put it with a tomato and not on the fridge because uh, they get bitter so they lose their sweetness when you put them with the tomatoes the tomatoes uh, should never go on the fridge because they they lose the, their taste and it's better when they are like in a, a room temperature. So that's why we have these little hammocks that we put all the tomatoes that we are going to eat that week uh, there. So for our greens and fresh herbs, uh, what we do on Sylvia is if you clean them properly, you will have to dry, dry them smoothly, not squeezing them. Uh, and afterwards you have two options or you put them in a paper bag and 
back on the fridge or uh, you use a clean cloth and you wrap them around and you put them on the fridge. Mm. Avocados, this is a, the, one of the most appreciated uh, fruits on board. So sometimes it happens that when we, when we buy them or when they get them from the villages, they will be really ripe or the opposite, they will be really green. If you want them to rip them faster, you will put in a paper bag and even if you want to speed that process, put it with a banana. But if you don't want that to happen, keep it away from the sun in a cloth hammock, uh, not the ones with the, with the strings because otherwise they will get bruised. That will help also with, the, with tropical fruits like pineapple or papaya. When we are sailing, we tend to put food scraps on the, in our food bucket. Uh, but the other day I realized that actually we are like wasting a lot of uh, food that it could be turned into a lovely vegetable broth. So I will recommend everybody to keep all the leaves, all the skins of garlic, onion, capsicum, everything that you will throw away to, into the ocean to keep it in a container and keep it on the fridge because you can make a lovely vegetable broth out of it at the end of the week. So you know how much we appreciate chocolate and wine in this boat and with such a crew it sometimes is impossible to find a spot on the fridge or the villages are full so my little trick is to put it between my clothes because when you, uh, whenever you go deeper on your clothes it stays cooler and it's been working for me, even the chocolate doesn't, doesn't melt. Let's have a look. So, here are my bottles of wine. Here is one and the other one is here. And for sure there will be a couple of more down there. So th that's all, I hope you liked the video. And if you have any tips or recommendations, we would love to hear it. So comment below. We have a special surprise for you. We just launched our refurbished new website and to do so we uploaded the first expedition drenched cookbook it's vegan and vegetarian friendly it will make the delight of any sailor see you next week